Hello guys and welcome to this YouTube channel. So today I want us to learn how to create reports for the Zimabora drilling system. So under the question paper we've been told to create relevant reports. So first of all, a report is an output screen and an output screen and an output screen generates the required output and output can be generated from either tables or queries. So in our previous videos, we learned how to create the tables and the queries. So we have the following tables and we have those queries. So we can generate reports from these tables and the queries. So we have three ways of, the, of creating reports. We can automatically generate a report from a table or a query. Uh -huh. Then we can also create a report from report wizard and we can also design a report from scratch. So I want us to explore the three options. First of all, I want us to generate reports automatically. So for you to automatically generate a report, you click on the table in the query. So first I want us to click on the first table, click on the table and then go to create. Then under, under the report section, you click on this first option, it automatically generates a report. So click on report, then you have our report. So we need to customize this report of ours, reduce the field sizes to fit on this page. So I see that this dotted lines represents, this dotted line represents where the data should fit so that it can, so that it can fit on the printed page. So when you print this page, so our work should fit within this dotted line. So we need to minimize, we need to minimize the column size by dragging, simply drag that way. Then after that, when you want to format this document of yours to appear appealing, so you can format Click on this one, go to home, change on the field, change on the code color. Let's set it to black, that way, black, bold. The other one, black, bold. The other one, black, bold. Black, bold, so that it can be appealing. that way then also you can change the background of this report if you go to design view you can change the background and do many things but those are not necessary for now so let's go to report view so we have our report but under the bohol table you realize that when you automatically generate a report from a table this this report header will have the name table of which it is not required. So you go to layout view, then you change this, we remove the table part so that you can have only the boreholes. So after that you save, save your report as, as list of boreholes. list of boreholes, then you save it. So after that, I want us to create the second report. You click on that one, go to create, send report. It automatically generates a report for you. After that, we minimize, we minimize the rows, the columns, sorry, minimize the columns. So that it can fit there. Minimize the columns.
Yeah, that's it. So after that, change that name or the name is okay. We save it. So let's save it as the name you wish. So after doing that, I want us to create the report using another method, report wizard. So under the report wizard, you go to create, then you click on report wizard. So under the table stroke queries, you choose your preferred one, either a query or a table. So since you have created for the tables, you can create the remaining. So I want us to create one for a query, then you call it, then you leave it at that point. So query, let us create for the completed projects. So you have these two icons. This one moves one field at a time. This one moves all the fields at once. So click on that, next, next again, next. So this part here specifies the layout and the orientation of the report. So if you want it to be step, block, or outline, you can click on it. So let us be outline. Then landscape is okay. Next. So under this part, you specify the title. So you can say completed projects, list of completed projects. So that finish. So when you finish, it will bring for you the print preview page, close print preview, then open in layout view, layout view. So this hash means the data doesn't fit on the space allocated, so you expand it. expand it so realize that the hash error has gone so that is it that is how you can create a report using the report wizard cell so that is it about reports it is as easy as that way if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section below thank you